Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. So today I'm really excited to be taking you to the Marche de Capossan, which is in Bordeaux and it's one of the most popular farmers markets over here. This market is open six days a week. The only day that it is closed is on Mondays, but Sundays are definitely the most popular day for this market. It's a tradition here in France that on Sunday you go to the markets, you get your fresh produce for the week, you stock up, but this market in particular is really special because you can do more than that. You can sit down at the cafes inside the markets and have a drink. You can have lunch there, you can have oysters with wine. It's a really vibrant part of Bordeaux and I'm really excited to be showing you what we're going to buy today and what we're going to have for lunch. It's about a 25 minute bike ride over to the markets from where we're staying, where we're living and we should be there around 11 so let's go. So right now we're still on the outside of the market. The main stalls are just in here and we're strolling around because there are many shops on the exterior as well. We went to the Lebanese stall to get our Lebanese bread. There's many cafes out there and there's a big African population in France and in Bordeaux. This is where a lot of the stalls are set up. Now we are at the entrance of the market, or the main entrance. So I've been here in Bordeaux now for just over six months and from what I've seen there are two main markets in Bordeaux. This is one of them, the Marché de Capucin, and the second one is Marché de Chateron. But honestly I think I, I prefer this one for buying the weekly groceries because here it's much cheaper. The quality is extremely high, I mean the producers and farmers of these Fresh products are here every weekend selling what they have so you know that you're getting amazing food that's healthy and cheap you know so I think it's really worth checking out to this market even though it's a little bit further for us you'll also see the sides opposite the market there are so many nice cafes and there's a butchery up here you have the Basilica Saint Michel which is an amazing cathedral down that way with some more markets uh, that continue throughout the week as well. So it's a really vibrant area and one that you should definitely visit if you're in Bordeaux. So now we're at some shop. It's like a Moroccan store. So we have taken one of these, which is like with kafta and spices. The kafta, I'm curious to see whether it's going to be like the Lebanese kafta I'm used to. And so the men's just heating it up now and we're going to have this as our free snack <laughs> before lunch. Yeah, it looks so good. So actually this place is Algerian, it's not Moroccan. So let's taste this and see how we go. For this it was just three euros. Very cheap. This is really nice, we both love it. It's very spicy inside. And it's not like Lebanese cupped actually. I don't know what is in here. I can see onions, tomatoes. There's obviously meat in there. <coughs> it's delicious. And the man was so kind and just bought us out each some mint tea. It smells beautiful. Oh shit, very hot. <laughs> very hot. <laughs> So we just got chatting with two Algerians next to us and they bought us a piece of this pastry each. It's like Algerian baklava. Very kind of them, let's give this a try. Mm. 
You have pistachios inside? It's like Lebanese baklava. Actually, there's not so much of a difference with the almond on top. It's really nice. So now we're inside the market and we're in the middle area. This is where most of the legumes are. And then to the side here, you have most of the meat. And to my other side, you have the cheese and those kind of products. So we're going to pick up some fresh tomatoes, some onions right now. We'll see what else we come across. This is one of our favorite stores that we keep coming back to because the people are really nice here and the produce is just fantastic. Let's have a look. They give you a basket and then you can put whatever you want inside and then they'll weigh it at the end and separate your products by the price. So let's get some tomatoes. Yes, we can move away. So from that place we just stocked up on some nice veggies, we got some leeks, some zucchini, some potatoes, onions and some little chilies to go with omelettes and that was all 7 euros. Insanely cheap, insanely fresh. Now we're at probably my favourite stall in the whole market which is this beautiful one here. You'll find it right at the back. They have every kind of herb that you can think of. They even have chocolate mint. I can't see it today, but all of these are normally one euro each. It's amazing. Now it's time to get some fruit for the week. And we're going to go for some apples. It's time to get some cheese. We have bought a little... There's always things going on. We have bought a little thing of a cheese that's called Saint Marcella. It's a very soft cheese. So this will see me out for the week. It's nice to get something different, you know, instead of the usual camembert or brie. Oui. Oh, oui. Oh, oui. Oh, oui. 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 So now it's lunchtime, we're very hungry. And we return to the Lebanese slash Syrian store of the markets to have a feed. So we ordered a falafel wrap each. It's five euros for a falafel wrap with hummus and some veggies inside. And the guy is very nice. He gave us some falafel to try now. They're actually Syrian, but the guy who works here, his mum was Lebanese. So I'm really happy to be eating this. It's the traditional style falafel. So let's see how the wrap is going to look. And yes, know that if you're in Marche de Capusan, come outside to this market and you can get your Lebanese food. So we just got our wraps, let's find somewhere to eat. 
<laughs> we are standing up and eating because there's no like empty chairs around. Check out this wrap. There's falafel in there, tomato. It's really delicious and he toasted it right away, you know, as it was put together. So we're going to enjoy this. So after you spend your morning at the market you can come down to the Saint Michel area near the Basilica and there are a lot of flea markets behind as well and honestly every restaurant here is packed so it's a great place to have lunch if you don't find something that you like at the market and definitely a must see if you're near the Marché de Capucin as well. Now to finish off our lunch we need to find something sweet so we are just waiting at this bakery that we quite like. The line is very long and hopefully we can get a nice pastry or something. I took a canale. This is the delicacy, a pastry that comes from Bordeaux. It's with rum and vanilla. Well, this video is coming to an end. So I want to thank you so much for watching what the Marche de Capucin is like and how our Sundays play out over here generally in going to the markets and stocking up on fresh produce. It's really an amazing experience. It's very vibrant here and lively, which is why I love this part of my week, weekend, should I say. So please give this video a like subscribe for more there's a new video out every single weekend and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye